Hello everyone and welcome to yet another in-house tournament. Today we will be casting some games from Bulia. The first game will be Bulia versus Bear Master. I'm Leonis and with me there is Oz. Time of day? Good morning, good evening. <laughs> good. <laughs> whatever the whatever the day is. <laughs> yeah. Whatever whatever it is for y'all. I am Oz, also known as Great Oz. You'll see me in the server floating around causing mayhem. Otherwise, we will see what's in these replays for this tournament today. All right. First games will be TVT between, as I said, Bully and Burmaster. Uh, let me get the first replay will be on Inside and Out. Let's load up the thingies, app stats. We do have those. My God. Incredible. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Let's see what coin flips we have today in the TBT that is on inside and out. Mm -mm, why does it not oh, I'm already getting a nice white square. I mm. forgot about that. No, no, Sometimes... that, that's fine, that's fine. Anyhow, on the bottom left corner of inside and out, we have in red the turn player. It is our clan manager, it is Bulia. And in the top right hand corner with the blue Terran SCVs, it is Bear Master. The both players doing the standard looks like 14 depot. No shenanigans where we do a 13 depot and make four racks on the other side of the map. Lightly faster gas Ooh. from Bulia. Ooh, this is a gas first build. This delays mm -hmm. your racks by a few seconds. We need we need to make the racks. Okay. He's just, he's just moving it, not in the wall, that's fine. Oh, Bullia really um, loves his aggressive openers as Zerg, so I, I would love to see if he if he wants to spice up this DVT as well. Ooh, that could be fun. Looks like Rax Gas Gas for Bear Master. This is the more standard for TBT. We have one SCV rallied into the gas for it to go in immediately. Nice, we get a pull in. Nice, nice saturation. Ooh, we, we even got to move the SCV over. My god, cool. that's fancy micro. We, we have fancy micro up in here. Ooh, double gas for Bullia as well. And mm -hmm. this is a very, a very aggressive opener. So by going gas first, uh, you can get your factory immediately as soon as the barracks finishes, regardless of the second gas. So this has one, one, one expand vibes to me personally, but it could, but you could also go Reaper and still afford the, um, uh, the factory at the same time. If you go um, gas first, double gas after the racks. Yeah, okay, that's what that's what that's what he's doing. Versus if you go Rax Gas Gas, your factory is a few seconds later after the Reaper. So you started the depot. Bearmaster scouted. So yeah. So he knows what's happening. Should at least. And we'll see whether or not this translates into something. For for the time being we have basically the Reapers with the same timing. Yeah. Offensive Reaper uh, by B Bearmaster, so Bolia, uh, so Bolia is putting. Ooh, he's actually scouting a little bit. This is, this can be a little bit coin flippy, but I think he's still fine. Yeah, true reapers. Just, I expect him to go. For proxies. I would expect, yeah, yep. hellion, double hellion, probably, or or even triple. Uh... There you go. So, because uh... I'm not sure if Bearmaster knows that this is a gas first or not. That one could go either way. If he does, getting the CC on the high ground is the is a great. Okay, yeah, this is a one 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 expand. This has vibes of the um, of the Hellion Liberator build maybe. Hmm, Tech Lab, interesting. Uh, two Tech Labs actually. This is very interesting. So are we gonna swap for Ravens. I love how I love how Bolia has has the Zerg portrait on his on his does. thing. <laughs> of course, That's awesome. he does. Well, is there a Zerg portrait? There's even one on the factory. I didn't even know that until today. Is there one? Oh, there's one on the on the barracks too. It's the, um, yeah, it's like the... in the middle and on the side. I didn't see that. Oh, the first skirmish is in the middle of the map, and Bullia gets the bad end of it as there are two Hellions against one. Not a fight you want to take, especially not three here. <laughs> like, ooh, it's, it's, it's the it's Banshee it's... opener. Oh, uh, are we gonna build a blind Raven over here? Banshee with Loke even. But if he starts the uh, the tech lab immediately, 
Oh, it goes for a reactor. Oh, mm. three reactor. Ooh, this this could this could be really coin flippy. He needs to save a scan, because yeah. He, mm -hmm. Otherwise, the the upgrade advantage. Uh, sorry, the income advantage goes to Bearmaster as he's already taking a uh, natural expansion, and he mm. has the force to to deflect any any ground attack. But without the the detection, he'll need to either save a scan or lose a lot of SCVs here. It is also a very fast stim from Bear Master. You normally don't get stim quite this early, but at least, at least, at least, at least, I'm, at least if I remember correctly, you don't get stim quite this early. You, ooh, third, second, and third racks before yeah. third command center for Bear Master. This tends to indicate a somewhat aggressive opener. Normally, if you're playing macro, you go to the third command center before racks two and three. Yeah, but. I think he really wants to do some sort of committed push with maybe two tanks by the looks of it, because Steam this early usually indicates some sort of early aggression yep. with um, yep. some sort of mech unit to, to support. We are a little bit supply block. Yeah, a tiny bit of a supply block. First here Banshee there. coming in. If we do, we, we do not Ooh. have a scan. We will have a scan now, though. I mean, there's... Some Ooh. sort of anti air, maybe able is he gonna to get it? kill it now. Oh no. 20 HP. Okay, so so now he needs to say well, he will have another scan in a few seconds. Doesn't have an NG bay though, so he cannot even no. build the, the no, missile turret. No, it doesn't. Double reactor on the two racks for Bear Master. What's going on over for yeah, Bolia? Probably Vikings. Yeah. Vikings by the looks of it. I mean, you usually don't play any, any marauders, so <laughs> There's yeah. nothing else you can really build with barracks. Benji coming in once more to try and snipe some more SCVs. What? I think he's gonna get yeah. this one this, this time. This Banshee yeah, will go, go down. Where's the other Banshee? Other oh, Banshee's still in alive. The corner of the map. The corner. Mm -hmm. yeah. With 20 HP and a dream. A dream of double dead eBay? SCVs. Ah, double upgrades for Bear Master, it seems. No upgrades so far for Bulia, who's just starting his own NG bay. Bulia Single NG bay. He's also going for a more standard Ooh. timing on, on Steam, by the looks of it. But he wants to move out with a force that I don't think really has any say into, into attacking this position. He has the tank advantage, but Vikings without any any air unit from the opponent can really wreck these, uh, these siege tanks. How many you? How many Vikings do we have for? It's two Vikings versus two Vikings. Oh. Um. Let's see. We're not making any more Vikings. We started. Okay. Oh, he wants to attack from this front. I I like this very much. You can try and siege the production. Yeah. There is a dead cyclone, and this position is going to be very annoying for um Bear Master. Oh, that's because... a dead siege tank. I'm so sad. No, don't that siege. Yeah, it. that's really sad. At least make him fire a volley, maybe. All right, two Vikings versus one. I know who wins this yeah. battle. Yep. Thing for this one. Now, so. with Bully losing the high ground vision from air units, this becomes a little bit more expensive as he has mm -hmm. to use Manageable. scan. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But there is a force right here on the left trying to to kill the siege tanks. Not forcing the, the siege tank into um. A melee range though was a little bit of a mistake and Bear Master GG's out. Yeah, GG. That was really fast. Yeah. And we have fourteen hundred minerals in the bank. That's a well it happens. But um and, and, and since he took so much damage from the SCVs, um he was had like ten ten less workers and in a mirror that's quite a lot. It's ten it, it's a lot relatively normally, but especially in a mirror. Okay, so we have the game number two. Will be on Moon Dance. Yes. And I think we're ready to go, Andy. Sounds good. Just a second, I need to finish one thing. And here we are on Moondance on the top 
left corner we have the red turn player it is maybe face with scenes yes it is Bulia. and on the bottom right hand corner hmm, it's actually just more just the bottom we have the blue terran bear master another gas first filled from bolia we you see gas first for bear master Hey, we could like have fun a little bit later. <laughs> nope. Uh, no. Still barks first. Double gas. I I would assume. Bearmaster really loves his uh, standard opener in TVT, by the looks of it. Well, Booyah yeah. <laughs> retains his very aggressive maneuvers from from when he plays Zerg. He also doesn't really like putting the barracks in the wall. For some reason. He prefers to wall with a three um, a three depot. Glorious three. There's uh, there's, uh, there's different opinions on that. Like if you wall off, you're you're safer versus Hellion run buys. But if you don't wall off, uh, your depot slash production isn't really in danger from tank pushes. So it's like, um, example. Let's look at uh, Bolia's base up here in the top left. You'd have to see to tank for like that mineral line on the on the third. In this case, it would it would hit the production. But um, since since he put it there, versus if Bolia put it like right next to the command center, you wouldn't really be able to hit that from the low ground. So it's like, if you put your production in the wall, it has a higher chance of getting hit along with your yeah. depots and stuff like Especially that. Especially with a siege tank, uh, tank yep. outside sieging up the the production, you can snipe the um, uh, the add-ons, and if something important is being researched, it, it will be a word of hurt. Oh. Bolia has not pulled off gas yet. Oh, that's interesting. He has that loads of gas. Does he want to go for something cheeky with a starboard once more? Yep, that'd be my guess. That would be like the only reason to to grab. See, we we start the starport. Yeah, there it is. Immediate starport, and I assume that after the the reaper is done, we will see another another tech lab on that on those barracks. I mean. Mm. One thing I mean, about being, being up... Oh, the scores are completely wrong again. Uh, one oops. thing very good about being um, up in, in games is that you can try again the same strategy. And if it doesn't mm -hmm. work, it's not like you've lost too much about it. Mm -hmm. And it might piss off your opponent. And pissing off your opponent is always a nice call to, to make. It is, it is. All right. We're gonna get a raven immediately this time. See, Siege we lifted tank? up the star oh, core. Yeah, immediate switch. Not so immediate, there but close enough. So we have enough gas for a raven. Nice. Cyclone. Three depots. Oh, raven first. Does he want to harass with a raven? I mean, auto turret harass is very good if your opponent doesn't pull off uh, the um, the SCVs, but. I don't see, especially in TVT, it making too much of a um, of a dent. This force here from Bear. I really like this harass from. Yeah, this... I think he just needs to. He just needs to go in. He yeah, accidentally yeah. Hits he his can own kill Reaper. the the SUV building the um, the command center with a little bit of focus fire. Yeah, you can scare yeah, them off. Yeah, there we go. Very well done. I think you can still challenge this if you can kill the Reapers. Oh, there's you can a actually cycle. You can actually challenge that. Cyclone, Three Reapers and two Hellions yeah. actually beat a, beat, a, beat a Cyclone, if as, it's by itself. As long as you force your opponent to attack the Reapers, uh, yeah. and you go in and out, I think you'll be in uh, in a very good spot. But still, delaying the, mm -hmm. uh, the CC from Bullia for quite some time is already a good a good maneuver here. And Bearmaster mm -hmm. is solidly into the lead when it comes to, to income. There's, this, there's still the, the question of what will this Raven do, because it's got enough energy for quite a few turrets. And it's queued up into the main base by the looks of it. Again, Reactor on the starboard from the Master. Have, he has one turret right now, and we'll have another turret in a few seconds. Ooh, is the Cyclone going to catch it? Cyclone is going to catch it. Oh, and that's a dead Raven. Yeah. This this right here is why I don't like doing this in TBT, because cyclone openers are extremely common. Yeah. Just for reasons like this one. Yeah, 
for this for defense against basically all kinds of uh, air base harassed. Hmm. And not only not only do we not have a raven for harassment, we also don't have a raven defensively. So, because uh, uh, Bolia does not have a raven at this point, since he opened only opened one raven. Um, if okay, it looks like Bear Master is not going to get a raven anyway. But if Bear Master had a raven in this push, he could do things like disable this tank that's coming out. Another push. Kind of like the same so, of the first game is coming out of Bulia, and it will be caught by this uh, harass unit from Bearmaster. Mm -hmm. The harass unit didn't really do too much, also lost one, one helium, but the, the bright side is that he, he now has some forward notice of this attack, and yeah. he really needs to siege those tanks before Bulia does. Yep. Very good position from Bearmaster. I just need to, yeah, spotting that. Ooh, gonna pick off the tank. That's juicy. Uh, scaring yeah. off the Vikings with the Cyclone as well. This is going very well for Bear Master this time around. He, mm -hmm. he really uh, shows how much you can learn from just a single game during a, a best of three. And that's the reason why best of threes are so much more important than just uh, best of ones. All right, Bullia not really knowing what to do with this force anymore. I mean, it's very hard to attack into this. He cannot siege it anymore. And Especially it... since he doesn't have the Raven now. Yeah. I think he could still try something if he lands the Viking into the um, into the siege tanks, but it's so scary with the Cyclones sh uh, sharking around. As well as these five Marines about to pop. Upgrade advantage doesn't... Oh, actually, go. It will go into Bearmaster uh, favor once plus one armor is done because he's going to Evos. Uh, sorry, to NG base against one. A very decisive attack from Bearmaster, cleaning yeah. up basically everything from Bully. And this force is. I like this position done. for Bearmaster a lot now. Yeah. Bully was trying to parade push around here, but this force, I don't think he will be able to do anything. And Bearmaster at the same time goes for a counter attack. This could get very scary for both players, as we will have four Vikings and lots of Marines. If Bearmaster sieges these tanks at his base, well, well what's he's, that? <laughs> he's sending them across. Uh, that's... If Bearmaster sieges these tanks at uh, the next, well, the next tank at his base, this could be a tough position to push into for Bolia. Right. Not landing the Vikings. So not going to have enough crap at home. We do have a Liberator out, though. We have one Viking and one tank. Well, two more tanks headed over. Oh, th those were very brave Marines, but two more brave Marines. They will die for their, their sins. At the that's same time, four the... Vikings. This attack, though, from Bearmaster might be able to de- Oh, he's f home, or- No, no. He's retreating anyway. That's- that's not where you- Okay, go. there we go. Okay, found he is, the He's gonna catch the reinforcements. At the same time, there was a little bit of a scare in the main base of Bearmaster. Killing one- one Viking. I mean, Bearmaster is coming home, which is not too bad, because he's not losing too much at the moment. And he has the advantages he needs. He has basically all the advantages in the world. And the force yeah, this coming from get behind. Up. Yeah. We'll just clean up everything. Bamaster is sitting on a very solid position. One thing he also has yeah. is a siege tank standing outside of Bullias Natural for some that reason. Be, that's really funny. I guess he forgot about that tank. Probably. As you the tank did. is actually in range of the mineral line, surprisingly. That's yeah, insane. Yeah, just barely. Oh, just barely out of range. No. I thought it was in range. That's unfortunate. All right, yeah. sees the siege tank. He realizes he cannot do anything about it, and He's just probably gotta go try hunt it. Yeah, that's what I, I think. Going trying to hunt that would be a good idea. Well, yeah. I mean, siege tanks are surprisingly fast when they uh, they have the that tail between the legs. Oh. Yeah. Cyclone versus Liberator. Oh, well. <laughs> nice movement by Bully, by the way. Uh, Seizing up at the last second the uh, the lib. Another attack from Bully. Three eBay's on accident for Bearmaster. 
just in case you want to do uh choo choo and then go into like let's try for <laughs> for structures <laughs> get the the ar the structure armor upgrade which is actually it only takes 100 seconds to research that yeah it's very very good I don't know, and, uh, um the range upgrade is 57. <laughs> It's actually pretty quick. Anyhow, Bearmaster pushing push into the, the main base of Boolean. At the same time, an attack from Boolean breaking up the defenses of Bearmaster. This looks like a sort of tra base trade scenario, but Bearmaster is already on top of the natural of uh, Boolean, and Bearmaster can also pull all these SCVs. Look at them. Ah. Uh, Look at those SCVs. They I really <laughs> like this position for Bearmaster a lot. Yeah, because it's... there is nothing at home. There we have one tank and just some marines popping out. Just up these tanks, or should be enough to to zone off the, the entire main base. Uh, Bully because... trying to steam off the ramp. Oh, won't even kill us. Uh, no. Siege tank, but don't, don't sacrifice the tanks. Don't sacrifice the tanks. Oh, Get the tanks no. out of there. That's a he loses position. the tanks. I think he was looking elsewhere. It just now stems into the pocket expansion yeah. from Boolean. Yeah, you just, you just want to do as much eco damage as possible at this point. Get the medevacs out. And this position is great for a bear master. Four bases against one and a half, two. basically. And mm -hmm. bear master is solidly in control of this game by now. Also because uh, Boolean's bases are not able to be completely saturated. We have a, a half base. Uh, in the pocket expansion and the main base is already running dry so this armory is for bullia is also very late do we have a second ebay for bullia uh do we have we do not no we do not looks like we don't they must are already into into a very good upgrade lead uh solidified by him taking two two against one one yeah, Bully yeah. just decides to GG. That's, I mean, there was nothing yeah. else he could have done. Yeah, the game, the, that game was over. And that leaves us with game number three on Tropical Sacrifice. So far, the games ha haven't been too too quick. I mean, Bully opening with gas first uh, led into some some very hard aggression from him. But yep, uh, led into some hard aggression, and it just didn't pay off as well. Yeah, which is unfortunate. The master was way more prepared this time around. Anyhow, let's see if we'll see some differences here from, especially this player, because on the bottom left corner of Tropical Sacrifice we have in red Bulia, and in the top right hand corner we have our blue Terran player, Bear Master. I find it funny that almost there's only like one build I can think of that actually goes 13 depot. That's the proxy 4x all in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> everything else is always 14 depot because depots take longer to build than pylons or overlords. So I don't know why that is, probably to delay the barracks by a few seconds, but I remember. Uh, I, uh, this was before, I, before long before I started playing, but I was told that in the Wings of Liberty days, they added the requirement for a supply depot to make a barracks because people would cheese very hard, to say the least. Yeah. Yep, there was a thing. <laughs> All right. The early Wings of Liberty days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basically, anything be before uh, Legacy of the Void was a little bit messy. Just a tiny bit. Things were Just very different. <laughs> All right. Did Bolia did Bolia go Rex gas gas this time? Yes, Rex yeah. gas gas against the well identical Rex gas gas. Both of yes. There is a <laughs> supply depot from the infamous twenty supply depot from Bear Master, who Bolia is not building at the moment. And okay, are we gonna okay, we're pulling off gas for Bear Master. Nice. We're pulling off gas for Bolia as well. Mm, he's still on 3 3. Yeah. They're Very gas focused is. Has been all, all series long. 
aggressive builds in mirrors are usually tend to be really good because you know we have the same you have always have the same unit production same unit speed so if you attack and you kill enough workers to compensate for the difference your better tech is usually usually makes aggressive builds and mirrors a lot more worth it so we do want a one 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 expand yep one 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 expand again from from bolia yeah just just like... the difference with a rax gas gas instead of gas rax gas so the the first game we saw a clock banshee the second game we saw a raven the question is will we uh, see another another raven or is it going to go for something like liberator harass during the the multi prong with the hellion and reapers that could be a thing as well it's building the um the tech lab on the factory and that's not set to switch with the starport so yeah liberator i was correct i did not see these games beforehand I, i'll tell you that i i haven't either <laughs> to <say> the least <laughs> no more we're not making any scvs from bullia looks like we're saving for expand center i think that's what's going on right now yeah seems like it as the yes yep, there we go dancing. and command center for bear master is mm. done just as uh, Bullies is 10 fans. seconds. I mean, the problem with this push is that the the harassing force from Bear Master is better than the one of Bullia, unless he just wants to to be defensive and just let the the liberator yeah, do yeah. all the yeah, damage. Yeah, unless unless it's just the liberator, hmm. which it will be scouted. Guys... Will he? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it will it be was. scouted. So, do we have a cyclone on the way? We do. So. Now that uh, Bearmaster sees this Liberator, I think... He has a Viking as well. Uh... He's so set for defense. Yeah, I do not like this position at all for, for Bolia at this point because the Liberator was scouted and the Viking's in position, I think, is the... And the Cyclone's in position, too. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. looking for the Liberator and it just sieges up in, in range of the, of the Viking. And, yeah. Okay, this is a very bad spot for Bulia as he's losing basically all map control he had. He's in a very defensive position and now it's up to Bearmaster to do something. He cannot walk into the front uh, front end of the base, but he can still try to do something. Oh, that's two dead reapers for basically nothing. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, I think what we need to do is just keep these. I don't like sending... I actually don't like sending these units home. I would prefer... To keep these units at the third, yeah, um, just, the third and the and the just just to spot whenever they whenever just they come check out. Check timings and check whether or not uh, stuff is happening, stuff is moving. You can mm -hmm. catch so many things with uh, just random units position somewhere. Because if Volia is going to move out in a second, which I'm getting that vibe because we unseach the tank. I mean, he yeah. always wants to do this push with three tanks and just a few marines uh, defended by Vikings. It's a very good spot to, especially in TVT, where you can siege up the production from the, the third base. Mm -hmm. um, third, third command center. It was very successful in this in the first game. We saw a very good defense by Bearmaster on the second game. And once more, we see a very good position siege tank here on the natural. Which will probably show away uh, most of the of the angles for Bulia. Bulia scans uh, confirms the presence of two siege tanks, which are basically locking down this entire base. And his entire early game plan is in shambles at the, at this point. Yeah, and he just goes home because he realizes you're not breaking that way. No. Nah. I mean, just two siege tanks against pre-siege siege tanks is not a thing you want to see. Bullia trying to scout something with his remaining harassing force. They get found, but... Mm, I mean, just damage on the Reapers doesn't mean anything. And... This puts Bullia a little bit more into the back foot, as he doesn't even have uh, any more info on the third base timings. Scan from... Bearmaster confirming that there is no army at home for Bulia, especially not on the on the natural. The question is, what will he do with the uh, this information? 
I think he also scouted the, um, the saturation and the presence of a third base. Let me check. Not the presence, but I, I mean, he didn't see too much with that scan. Well, he, well, he did see, he did, he did see a really large structure being built, and that's usually only a command center that's that size. So, I think Bolia knows that there is a third. I'm pretty sure he missed the the command center building by a tiny bit. It doesn't show I up on like, his on his vision. I meant like from from the last that he scouted. Well, now oh, he yeah. sees it, but. Anyhow, Bullia trying once more to siege up this third. This is a very hard position to break in, but so many Vikings, that's that's a tiny bit of a problem to, to push into. Uh, Bearmaster has the Viking, well, he used to have the Viking advantages. Oh, these Marines are a little bit too Ooh. far forwards, but I think Bearmaster can just reposition to, to the other base as soon as he cleans up the, the true Reapers and the, and the Hellion. Because this position, I don't think I'll be able to contest it anytime soon. True siege tank in that position, especially protected by rocks mm -hmm. like that, is a nightmare to, to push into. Especially with the Viking advantage. Bullia trying something cheeky with the Vikings. He's gonna Ugh, lose. He's gonna, he's he's gonna get really hard punished for that. Oh yeah. And now suddenly this is not good for, uh, for, for Bullia. And we are floating 1500 minerals in the bank. Um, I think you want Vikings more than you want Liberators, or more than you want Medivacs at this point. I mean, even a Liberator or, or, would be for, good. A Liberator actually wouldn't mind, because there's like, is there even a, there's just one random Cyclone? Yeah, Billy doesn't really have any... I Actually, neither player has too many Vikings to contest any, any kind of Liberator um, siege up, and they clean up siege tanks so fast. Anyhow, Bandmaster pulling the trigger and killing off the remaining force of Bulia. Bulia has, again, no attacking force on this side, and his whole idea was relying on, on him trying to deny the third. He managed to do so for quite some time. He got some, some very good uh, advantages when it comes to economy, but now we are stabilizing into a, a position where both players are kind of uh, mining equal. Bulia, actually, Bulia is getting way behind now 59 workers against 64 no opposition you want to be especially in a in a mirror match when even a single worker of defense with will make very very I, sizable difference Bullia right now has more workers 60 64 versus 65 i actually kind of like this position for Bullia right now yeah. Especially with this drop going in. Oh, the drop's a little bit late. Managed to catch up. Uh, Again, okay. all the siege tanks are being killed by... Because I think Bullia doesn't this really have too much support when it comes to, to bio units. Yeah. We and just need to get in the medevacs and get out of here. Yeah, Bearmaster is able to, to just steam forward and clean up yeah. those remaining tanks and more and more tanks have been killed. A double drop from Bulia though in the main base will snipe a, a few things here and there. Cyclone if this attack there. was going on at the same time, I would really, really like this. Okay, we are getting another star for it. It'll still be able to deal a sizable amount of damage, but Bulia is losing more and more siege tanks on the front and siege tank count is way more important than many other things in TVT. Not being able to snipe the, the up base as well. Bulia not really finding all the uh, all that damage with this drop, even though he was uncontested for the most bear master of the time. is f2ing his entire, well, most of his army. This third base is now very exposed, so I think if we weren't trying to push over here, we might have a bit, bit more success. A uh, push over in the bottom, I mean. Problem is the the army of Bulia was so so far back that it it didn't really find the the time to do anything, and now even though the tank siege spot is fine. These Vikings cannot really achieve anything, and the and besides ca scaring the army, the siege tank is not doing anything. Well, yeah, with all those uh, siege tanks he lost, he lost most of the of the power of this composition because he really wants to leapfrog in. He tries something desperate like uh, dropping on the um, on the natural with all the marines he had, but this just means that this siege tank will be cleaned up. The Vikings are going to die as well, and I really like these defense from from bearmaster on the other side though we still have a very sizable army supply lead for bulia 
He's yep. really mustering up an army so, back at home. So while th while this this giant siege tech army is scary, if Bullia catches this army unseized, it's not great at all. It's because the marine count is so low. It goes well either as, way, did, to be fair. Both did players we, have did very we forget high. combat shields? We forgot mm. combat shields as well. And Bullia has an upgrade advantage. Oh, that's that's scary. Bermasa though has plus one vehicle weapons, and that's very important when uh, finding my marines. I think with plus two, you one shot them if they stim. Very cool, correctly. Oh, both players not sieged up, but there's a massive siege tank amount for for Bermasa, and this army is completely cleaned up by siege tank shells. Oh my gosh, that was Jeez. a massacre. That was indeed a massacre. William must ring up another four. Still up in army supply. I don't know how, but this man manages to squeeze out any last bit of supply he can. Another maybe uh, engagement in here, but again, ah, oh, bad master. Think... Force the tanks to siege and leave. Get out of there. No, too late. Actually, can try something. The, the siege tank has spread enough. Okay, so bad master. Okay, so that... That really cut down on the tank count. Yeah, but in the end, I think Bad Master got the uh, the better end of it because yeah. if we see the unit count, there's we no tanks. Yeah, we see a, a very good advantage for um, for Bear Master, five tanks against two, and the production of siege tank is basically equal. So as yep. time goes on, uh, there won't be too much of a difference. Now, Bear Master, what he should do if he knows about this base. Um, no, he doesn't. He needs to scout to check for bases and then siege up any base, uh, base that Bully cannot defend. Because this base, uh, the planetary on the 6 o'clock, cannot be defended at all. No, no, it can't. So, something I would like to see right now from... Yeah, a drop from Bolia. Another drop. Because there is not a whole lot at home. Uh, I think there are literally zero... Okay, the there's two siege tanks. scouted. Uh, tiny bit That's of an expensive really maneuver there, but this the double drop is still going on. Uh, the base will go down almost immediately, disappeared. The double drop will be able to deal a significant amount of damage in the third base of Bearmaster, as he once more has to evacuate this base. He will lose this reinforcing army trying to defend this base as well, because the siege tank was not sieged. That's a great victory for Bully as the SCVs have rallied back into the, the base without the, the base we, being uh, completely Ooh, cleared. Uh, he's gonna have to rush Ooh. in there. Yeah. Oh my god, no more Marines means that Bear Master will not be able to advance any more than this, I don't think. Uh, at least it will it would be very hard to advance. But Bully at the, the same time coming in. is dealing a significant amount of damage with way less supply. All right, Bullia repositioning his third base into another position. Very smart. Another, ooh, dropping on the tanks. I really like this move. They, they even catch them unseaged. Now you could just stim it with the other Marines and that's it. Base yep. been finally cleaned up by uh, Bear Master, who's able to retake his own third. Planetary Fortress being built on the 12 o'clock. Like he did finally clean up the drop, but at this point, Bolia is so far ahead. Because Bearmaster does not have the army to kill this. Yeah. If, if, so what, what I think Bolia needs to do is he needs to split up and do a whole bunch of drops where all the tanks are not at. Because, um, on top of the fact that we forgot combat shields, it's 3-3 three, three versus 2-2 two, two now. Um... Bolia's marine count is going to completely slaughter Bearmaster's marines yeah. in a straight fight. So <laughs> see, double the army supply from Bolia. I think I know where this game is going to go uh, with yeah. the upgrade advantage as well. Mm -hmm. mm, this is scary. I mean, we have plus two um, vehicle weapons for Bearmaster. That's always good. But when you uh, have the supply of your opponent and your opponent has libs that can dismantle your, your siege tanks, I think this is a scary, scary fight. An siege battle in here. Bearmaster sieging out at the last possible moment, but Bullia retreating very well done. At the same time, though, Bearmaster is going to lose this base, no buts. 
Yeah, that base is not being saved. No, no. With the leaps as well, you cannot even mass repair it to, to try and make it a little bit uh, tougher. Will it be caught on the tail end of his army though? Siege tanks sieging up. Go forward. Will they get sniped before they yep. go. Not enough marines to buffer for those tanks and they fall almost instantly. Just able to fire a few yep. volleys. William, I even tried to to steam and snipe this base here on the 3 o'clock, but at the same time he loses most of his army trying to force the issue on the third base of Bearmaster. Trying once more to force the issue. Now this yeah. time he's steaming into the, the natural. This could be disastrous if Puglia gets the gets to siege up. Actually it doesn't have any more siege tanks. Yeah. Okay. Master with no more army and is forced to GG out. Well done to Bulia taking this entire well thing to two to one, if I remember correctly.